Next, I would like to talk about what is my absolute favorite feature of this router. That is lazy loading. So lazy loading allows us to load a section of the site only when we get to it. Since we have our about module compartmentalized and not part of the overall application, it should be able to load by itself. Sometimes a user might come to our site and never visit the about page. They might just hit the home page and different parts of our site, but never the about page. It doesn't make sense that they should load all of those assets, even though they're never going to use them. Let's take a look at how we can achieve this with the Angular 2 router. First, I'd like to take a look. We'll inspect element. Let's take a look at the network tab where we can see all the things that are happening over the network. Refresh this page. And you'll see if we go under this XHR tab, we can see everything that was pulled in by Angular and System.js. If we scroll to the top of this, you can see that our about module, app.routing, and all of these different things get loaded. Since we're using system.js, everything gets loaded individually, and we didn't bundle anything together. This isn't a problem because when you talk about how browsers load content nowadays, HTTP2 is getting a lot more popular among browsers, and this means HTTP2 allows us to what's called multiplexing, and that means all of these files are able to download at the same exact time. Now, if we have users that are on older browsers, these might not be able to load all at the same time. If we look at how the waterfall shows and how our timing is, let's highlight a certain section. We can see that over time, some of these things are stacking on top of each other and our browser is able to load them at the same time. So this is what system.js does. This is kind of betting that HTTP2 is available in the browsers. If you don't want to make that bet and you're not sure that you can support HTTP2 across all of your users, Webpack is a really great choice since that will help us bundle in development and deliver a bundle.js file that we can serve to our users. And that's just a side note on how we should load our applications and what sort of scenarios are going to help for system.js versus Webpack. We'll have a Webpack course on Angular 2 in the future. But right now, let's get back to the topic at hand. Let's talk about routing and how we can lazy load this about page. There are three steps that we need to take in our code to make sure that this about section is lazy loaded. Over in Sublime Text, let's go into our about router. We'll close these out. In our about router, the first thing we need to do is remove the path that is the parent path of about. We'll just leave that blank. Now, why do we do this? We're going to add a new route at the app routing level, and we'll bring in the path of about. And instead of passing in a component or passing in children, we're going to pass in load children. And we'll pass in a string here. We're going to give it app about about.module, and we'll pass in the about module. Add a comma down here. And the reason that we do a string instead of passing in the component or the module itself is so that Angular doesn't know how to load it when we start up. It only knows that, hey, we should load it when this load children and this path gets hit. The third part of this is we need to remove it from auto loading. So we're going to app module. We have the about module imported here. We'll delete that. And under imports, we are importing the about module. We don't want that there. That's all it takes to lazy load a section of our site. Everything in the about module is loaded from this router and this load children parameter. Let's take a look at our app now. Go to the home page. Let's make sure everything is still working correctly. We'll go and click about, click on one of the users, and we can see the user profile and the about section is all good. So there are no errors with our lazy loading and everything is working perfectly. You may be wondering, how do we actually know that lazy loading is working? Well, we'll open up the network tab again. Go to the home page and let's refresh our site. We can see all the things that get pulled in. If we scroll to the top, we should not see the about component or the about module or any of the about HTML pages loading up. All right, we just have app component HTML here. Click on about and you'll see that all of those things that are part of our about component and our about module get loaded. We have the module, component, about user section, and the user service gets pulled in as well. 
Lazy loading provides a really great way to compartmentalize parts of our site so that our payload is very small and our users can have a very fast experience for our application.